The old ways were not working anymore. The modern era was ushered in with revolutions in government, economics, industry, and science. With the advent of this era, artists were looking for new ways to represent their experiences. Early experiments by the Cubists with collage evolved into constructing the sculptures from found objects. The Dada artists used non-art materials in their attempts to destroy the idea of aesthetic beauty in art. Surrealists combined everyday objects into new forms that defied logic. These artists redefined what art could be made of and what art could be. By the late 1940s and through the 50s, abstraction was all the rage in the art world. But there were some artists who wanted to make art that was less theoretical and more accessible. Like the beat poets of the same generation, these artists rejected materialism and preciousness. The found object these artists used in their work came with proletarian history and prosaic character. Rehabilitating these objects into new configuration, these artists found poetry in another's junk. There was often a humor in the work, denying the solemnness of the abstract expressionists who had come before them. In 1961, the Museum of Modern Art put on the Art of Assemblage exhibition, showing these new artists alongside Picasso, Schutter, and Duchamp, legitimizing their stature. Recontextualizing objects that already carry cultural meaning allow artists to make poignant statements about the world in which they live. Betty Sau works takes on the image of operation in America, Subodh Gupta poverty in India, Song Dong the uncertainty of survival and Al Ansui the relationship between liquor and slavery in the African history. While not really an art movement in the classical sense, this approach to art making remains vital. International in scope, Assemblage inspires imagination and appears in many contemporary art venues. A new generation of artists continues to turn the mundane into the marvelous.